All right, part of chasing this down, everybody tells me, check the map sensor, check the map sensor. Well, this is the map sensor. So what I'm gonna do is, I've already got these loosened. I'm gonna take these bolts out. There's one. There's two. You see it pretty much just wants to fall out. There's our little map sensor. And what we gotta do is hook up a multimeter. What I believe is a center pin. And basically put the key on, put a vacuum pump on this nipple and see if the voltage changes from five down to one. So that's what we'll do in a minute. Okay, we're hooked up here. What I've got is, I've got it back probed on the center pin, which is the green wire. That's the sensor wire. I've got a vacuum hose hooked up to my Mighty Vac. And I've got a multimeter hooked up. And that's about right for it sitting. We've got the key on. Engine not running. What I'm going to do is this should this this reading should change as I give it a little vacuum. Every five pounds. And it is. Okay. So we've got about 20, 20 pounds of vacuum on it. 0.91, maybe a little too much. Let's try this again. Maybe let off the vacuum, we're right back to 4.4. I need to get a smooth delivery here. So get it up to okay. A little more. And a little more. Right up to about there. And we'll watch it for a little while. Yeah, it's the... I'm not really getting any bleed off there. It's my, more my vacuum gauge than anything else. I know I'm not throwing any codes or anything either for this, so... So it looks like the map sensor is good. So I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> 